Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is uh, Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a super fantastic day. In this edition, I explore the 2021 uh, Flagstaff Microlite and Rockwood Mini Light travel trailer, specifically the 25 FBLS and the 25 11S. The unloaded vehicle weight of this unit is under 5,500 pounds, and the exterior length is a little bit under 26 feet. You can pause this video at any time because I shot it in 4K for your visual pleasure. Up front, you have a 60 by 74 queen bed and a slide out ward area. You have absolutely gorgeous uh, theater scene and a rather large uh, restroom in the back. Up front, you can see the uh, automotive style uh, windshield. I saw this unit at Explorer USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are the nicest people ever. Up front you can see two 30 pound propane tanks, a power tongue jack, an area there for two uh, batteries, and of course the battery disconnect is right under the propane tanks. There you see the city water connection, etc, etc. And they have a rather large uh, pass through storage in this unit. Gigantic in fact, what do you think? Behind this door is obviously some of the utilities uh, for this unit. Easy access. This unit has two slides, and right down there is the uh, knife valve, upgraded version of the uh, low point drain, and there's a black tank flush right there. Let me back up and show you a wide shot of this unit. I really like this unit very much, in fact, I give it a rating of uh, an A+, pound for pound, probably the finest travel trailer on the market today, especially under 26 feet. There's a 30 amp connection, and this is the valve for the gray tank. Underneath you can see the enclosed and uh, heated underbelly, and the Torflex suspension. Right next to the 30 amp connection is the uh, area where you can plug in your cable or satellite. To the left is I-35 West, it gets a bit noisy on the slot sometimes, it's a busy little highway. There's a ladder to the roof. And of course a spare tire in the back. Let's get on top here on the roof. Uh, to the left is a Max Air fan with its uh, rain cover. Very, very nice. And of course the AC unit and the uh, TV antenna and the Wi-Fi Ranger. There is plenty of room on this unit for some uh, solar panels if you're so inclined. Some are motivated by solar and some are not. Again, there's a ladder to the roof and uh, right there is a 300 pound rated hitch where you can put a bike rack, a tray, whatever you want. And there's a scissor jacks, uh, keep you nice and uh, relatively modestly uh, stabilized. Let me back up and show you the uh, 17 foot long uh, awning. It's a good size awning. I think it's enough to uh, cover the patio area and uh, give you a little shade on those super hot days. This unit takes advantage of Morai step above uh, steps. They sort of stabilize the egress and ingress of the uh, unit. And this one has the upgraded again, the uh, pistons that make it easy to go up and go down. These tires are 14 inch Goodyear's. On the website it says 15 inch. I get confused. Uh, contact your dealer to get the latest specs. You never know. There's some connections right there and some uh, receptacles, so you can put a TV right there. A little area there where you can put a little table or the included grill. Very nice. The exhaust for the heater and uh, also the water heater area. And there's one of the trays I put it out there just to show you where it, you can do with one of those little trays. And it's an all metal tray. Let's go inside. Why not? Let's go inside. Check it out. New for uh, 2021 is the We RV app. You just get an app for your phone, Android or iPhone, and you can control a lot of the functionality uh, of this uh, travel trailer, including the awning, the lights, and the slides. Here's the IRV Technologies head unit, and of course uh, this unit also has a very nice uh, 110 powered uh, <laughs> fireplace. You know, if you're connected to shore power, why not? Just connect that and get a little bit of heat. Here's the thermostat, conveniently located. And this is a good size storage. You can either uh, 
throw some uh, boxes in there or some clothing. You know, so they have a hanger on the top. It's up to you what you want to use this uh, storage for. It's a good size storage. Right there's a fire extinguisher, and to the bottom there, that's uh, those are the controls for that uh, Moride step above the piston, so that you can tell it's an upgraded unit when you see that. You have two octopuses on the wall there for your uh, jacket or your shirt, whatever you want. Towel ring. Let me open this up. This is a medicine cabinet. Good size medicine cabinet. Never, <laughs> never assume that you're gonna have a good size medicine cabinet. An area for your toothbrush and your cup and a plastic sink. Just uh, below the sink is a little plop down area where you can put some sponges or whatever. A little bit of storage and behind that of course uh, some of the plumbing so you got to be careful. This is a good size storage where you can put your towels, your linens. Again, excellent storage for this uh, size of travel trailer. Again, this unit is only 25 feet, 11 inches long. You get your own little window and a good size shower. Even for big boys and girls, you can have a good size shower and a porcelain foot flush toilet. What do you think of the flooring down there? I like the pattern. Of course, this unit takes advantage of Aquaview Shower Miser. Uh, conserves water. Make sure you don't waste any water uh, taking a shower. They have a little uh, pouch back there so you can put some shampoos, conditioners, soaps, whatever you want. It's a good size shower. Well, what do you think? That's what's important. What do you think? There's a lot of uh, RV salesmen out there saying every RV they sell is the best in the universe. It's up to you to decide what fits your needs, but I always like this one. Please like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And please leave your kind and friendly comments below the description. Thank you very much. They've upgraded these uh, little recliner chairs. They now have two cup holders right in the middle there. And you can see the receptacles and uh, area there where you can plug in a USB device to charge it. They no longer have those funny little tables, those little tiny, puny little tables on the side now. They just have significant ar armrests. They throw in this little table uh, so you can dine in style. Personally, I'd just buy a couple card tables, but that's me. Above the sofa, you have some uh, storage. To the left there, you can see the uh, how they do the window treatments. And of course, they have the accordion blinds, the pleated blinds. I don't really like them. They are supposed to have uh, as an option. I talked to the rep at uh, Rockwood and Flagstaff, and they said they have now uh, roller blinds available. That would be nice. I would like to see one of these units with uh, those uh, upgraded roller blinds. And of course they offer a DC refrigerator as an option too. And of course a lighter, uh, you know, uh, tones in the uh, Newport Ash. I really like the Newport Ash. But that's my opinion. But what do you like? And there's the uh, shore powered uh, heater. It's a nice looking fireplace. You get a couple drawers there. And to the left you get uh, the plop down drawer and three pull out drawers. To the right is a 22-inch uh, oven. Let me move that uh, table away so I can get over there. Let me show you the inside of this oven. It's a very nice oven. You can definitely cook a small turkey, medium-sized turkey maybe. Uh, definitely some biscuits and pies, cakes, whatever you want. And of course, uh, you can cook using propane power. You don't have to be connected to shore power. This has a bifold cover and, of course, a three burner cooktop with a nice uh, grate. So this is pretty durable design. This is not a cheaply designed <laughs> RV. And, of course, you have solid surface countertops uh, in the kitchen area. Up on top, you have a microwave. If you're connected to shore power, you can use that microwave. Pop some popcorn. Some TV dinners. Whatever you got, you can use that. To the left, you have some pass-through storage. It goes from the left all the way to that area right here. This area back here, of course, is perfect for your packaged goods, your canned goods. This unit is uh, wired for solar. Wow, that's a big upgrade over past units. And that's apparently an area where you can put a charge controller. I don't know. You'd have to ask your dealership, and there's some receptacles. Right there. Nice little faucet. And stainless steel twin bowl sink. 
I really like that sink. And of course, like I talked about earlier, solid surface countertops. Here's that plop down little sponge drawer. Down here they have uh, very nice uh, drawers. Solid wood door fronts, uh, plywood box construction, and of course all metal uh, roller glides for this uh, unit. So it's easy in, easy out, and uh, you get three of those on this side. There's also a little extra area there that you can use for you know, your prep, your food prep. When you open the door, you can see the fins in the back. That uh, means this is a gas electric refrigerator. New for 2021, they offer now a DC refrigerator, a very efficient uh, DC refrigerator. If you have a s couple solar panels on the roof and a couple good batteries, you should be able to power it readily and do a lot more boondocking and use less propane. So what do you think of this uh, wood tone? Of course, they do offer now the Newport Ash, which is a lighter wood, which I really like. A lot of the manufacturers are going to lighter woods. Under the bed, you have two, count them, two layers of storage. You have three drawers right there. And right above that, another layer of storage. All you have to do is uh, open the bed up a little bit, you know, just f flip it open a little bit, and there you can access it, that other layer of storage. But the other layer is just easily you know, accessible with those three drawers. On this side, you just get a table, and you get the charging center, AC and DC, and a 12-volt receptacle. Very nice. On this other side, uh, you get some drawers. Let me try. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the light. So you get the only a drawer, so you have to learn to share. It's important to share. You know that, don't you? But both sides get an end table, which is very nice. What do you think of the pattern for the uh, pillows and the bed cover? It's all new This for this uh, uh, 2021 cycle of uh, Rockwood and Flagstaff. There's some pass-through storage right there with four doors. You can access it. You can put quite a bit of stuff back there. And of course, in the slide out, you get this uh, ward storage area closet. And you can put some package goods in there. You can put some shirts, whatever you want. You can put it all back there. There's plenty of room right there. There's a perfect spot uh, for, uh, you know, put your shirts, your towels, some of your clothes, whatever you want, it's up to you. This one's perfect for a closet because it has the, uh, up there, right up there, it has a, <laughs> you can hang your clothes, and below there's some more storage also. So you get a lot of storage in this uh, travel trailer. One of the benefits of having this uh, slide out, this extra little bonus room. Here's some of the hardware, high quality hardware. Again, uh, solid wood door fronts in the Rockwoods and Flagstaffs. I've been in travel trailers that have a lot of storage, but no cargo carrying capacity. This unit has over 1,300 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Here's a little drawer, a little bonus drawer. You can put some stuff in there, can't you? This can be uh, specifically for the wife or the husband or the partner or the friend. It's up to you what you want to use it for. And there's the emergency access window. Of course, you can replace that with a Fantastic or Max Air fan. You want to have some good breeze on those hot, hot days in the desert. If you go to the desert, or maybe you just want to stick around uh, in your old neighborhood. Here's some of the equipment I used for this video. My modest Hawkeye Firefly action camera. So now I'm going to check out the uh, easy chairs. And they are quite easy to slip into. I really enjoyed them. They're nice and plush. I really, really like them. They have some buttons up front. I don't know what they do. I tried to play with them, but I didn't know what they did. I did yank a little, uh, a little uh, sort of like a ripcord thing, and it made the chair into a recliner. It worked out very nicely. Again, I'm trying to press those other buttons. I don't know what they do. And uh, very relaxing, very enjoyable, and uh, the uh, leg rests were pretty solid. They weren't flimsy. I know some other manufacturers of easy chairs. They're pretty flimsy and uh, they uh, just move readily, but these, uh, the footrests were substantial. There you have 12 volt and uh, USB receptacles and uh, two areas for cups. And this is the perfect TV watching position. I give it a thumbs up. So this has been my review of the 2021 Flagstaff Microlight 25 FBLS and Rockwood Mini Light 2511S. Thanks for watching RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Benagarza in Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you have some cash in your uh, wallet.
Gracias. Adiós. Bye bye.